Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper end of life video where today I'll be covering Microsoft Exchange Server and its life cycle. Obviously, Microsoft Exchange Server is a tool where you can use to, for your company, manage emailing, calendar accounts, uh, contacts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this video, we're specifically interested in its life cycle, how you manage it to ensure that you always have the latest up-to-date version and that you're not risking any exposure to vulnerabilities that are out there and that have been fixed by recent updates. So here in Landsweeper, we're in the report area where if we head over to security and the life cycle, we'll find all of the life cycle reports that we have available. And then there's one there for Microsoft Exchange Server um, that will actually quickly run and head into so that we can get an overview of all of the Exchange servers that we have in our environment, along with when their end of life date is and how many days are remaining and additional details like the publisher, obviously important here is a software version. So what version of Exchange that you're running um, and additional details there. Now, if you even want more details, you can always click on any of these devices um, and you, to go to their specific device page. And that will give you a complete overview of all of the details of that Exchange server. So we can see here, we get an overview of software, hardware, um, as well as users. Um, and there's much more data to dive into, but if you can get anything you want here, um, so whether it be, like I mentioned, software, hardware, or user information, you can grab it all specifically for this device and see it here as well. Now, if you want to grab this audit and get this overview for yourself, all you need to do is head over to landsuper.com, start your trial for Landsuper, uh, and then you can get started and get this in your own view as well. Get, use this with your own data so you can get this view for yourself and know when do you have exchange servers that are going end of life so you can start planning your migration before the end of life actually takes place. So you're always kind of ahead of any end of life that's coming up. So with that, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.